All right, this is another midterm review video to help you get ready for probability models. Now remember, a probability model is basically a model or some type of chart or diagram that shows everything that can happen, doot, 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 and then underneath them or next to them, however you want to make it, vertical or horizontal, is the probability. So again, these are my options for what could happen. So there's several different options for what could happen. And then underneath them, I must calculate the probability of all of those outcomes. Now, how do you do that? Well, you have to have a good understanding of probability. So let's look at this question. You want to play a carnival game where you have to hit a balloon with a dart to win. You estimate that you have a 75% chance to hit a balloon on any given throw. And the throws are independent, which means that you have a 75% chance on every throw. It doesn't get better or worse. You only have enough money for four throws, but plan to stop if you ever win. Make a probability model for how many darts you could throw. So here we go. X is the capital value for how many darts could I throw? And I'm going to find the probability of each event. So I could throw one dart. Now, for me to throw one dart and be completely done, that means I must have won, right? I must have threw that dart and hit the balloon, 75% chance that that happens. Now, if I win, I'm done, I walk away, fun game. Now, I could end up throwing two darts, but what has to happen for me to throw two darts? Well, I must have missed the first time, but then I did hit the second time. That would be 0.25 times 0.75. That's a miss and then a hit. 0.25 times 0.75. So that's a grand total after I multiply of 0.1875. Now I do need both of those things to happen. This is an and then statement. I need to miss and then make. That is the only way I could throw two darts. Or another option would be throwing three darts. Well, what would have to happen to throw three darts? Well, I miss. I miss again, but then I do finally hit on that third dart. So miss, and then miss, and then I do hit on that third dart. So it'd be 0.25 times 0.25 times 0.75. Point, point, and this again, I'm going to keep all the decimals here just for accuracy. 0 0.046875. Now, another option is I throw four darts. What has to happen for me to throw four darts? This is where you need to really put on your thinking cap. Well, if I follow what's been happening so far, I could miss the first, and then miss the second, and then miss the third, and then I hit the fourth. But there's actually another option, because if you understand, I'm throwing four darts, and that's it. So another option could be I miss all of them. That would be 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.25. Because I did say that win or lose, I'm only going to throw four darts. So there's two outcomes that could lead me to throwing four darts. Miss, 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 win, or miss, 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 miss. Lose all of them, but again, I'm not spending any more money to play this game, so I am done. So I would have to figure all that out. So it would be 0.25 raised to the third times 0.75 if you prefer, plus 0.25 raised to the fourth, 4.25s. And that would give me a final result of 0 0.015625. Now, one way to kind of check that I am correct is if you add all of these final probabilities together, 0 0.75, 0 0.1875, 0 0.046875, and 0 0.015625, trust me, you will get one. So that is a very good probability model question that makes you think a little bit. All right, now let's switch it up a little bit here. Now imagine the same scenario, but if you miss, the chance that you win on the next toss goes up 5% because you're improving as you go. So think about that. For example, if I miss the first time, the second time I now have an 80% chance of winning. Again, this is because I'm improving, right? I'm getting better at the game. Now, you want to play until you win. Make a probability model for how many tosses it could take you to win. Now, this time I'm ignoring the four games, right? Before I said I'm only throwing four darts. Now, I'm going to continue until I win. All right, so what's the probability it takes one dart for me to win? Well, that means I win on the very first toss, 
0.75. Easy, easy, easy. Now, what about two darts? Now, remember, this time around, I'm improving. I'm getting better. So the probability it takes me two darts to win would be 0.25. I missed the first time. But because I'm getting better, I now have a 0.80 chance or an 80% chance to win. Because the idea here is that if I don't win, the chance that I win goes up 5%. So again, this is like conditional probability, right? I didn't win, so the chance goes up to 80%. So 0.25 times 0.80, or now this is 0 0.20 for my final answer there. Now, what about three darts? Okay, now you gotta really think here, right? So I missed the first time, 25% chance I missed that first time. Now, the second time, I now have an 80% chance to win, but I miss, which means I had to have missed, which is 20%. And now I have 0.85 for that third. Now, really take the time to think about this. Miss the first time is 20%. Now, the second toss, I have a 20% chance to miss. So that third dart, I now have increased my odds to 85. Because every time I miss, I have an extra 5% better chance of winning. So that's why it's now at 85%. So again, 0 0.25 times 0 0.20 times 0.85 is 0 0.0425. Okay, now if you want to pause and try four on your own and see if you're right, by all means, please feel free. But I'm going to continue now and do four. Now this would mean I missed the first. I missed the second. Get ready for it. I missed the third. Because remember, on that third toss, you have increased to an 85% chance of winning. But you miss. And then now, on that fourth toss, I've increased to a 90% chance of winning. Once again, 75 first, then 80, then 85. So now I'm up to 90% chance for that fourth, dot, or fourth dart. So 0 0.25 times 0 0.20 times 0.15 times 0.9, this would be 0 0.0065. Now, why is it getting smaller? Because remember, I should have won on the first dart, so no wonder the more darts is going to be the less likely. Okay, once again, if you want to try five on your own, pause it. Ready? So, make, I'm sorry, 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 sorry about that. I missed the first one, missed the second, missed the third, Miss the fourth, 90% chance to make the fourth, 10% to miss the fourth, and now I'm 95% chance to make that fifth dart. So 0 0.25 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.15 times 0 0.10 times 0 0.95. 0.25 times 0.2, I'm always checking my work, right, making sure I typed it in right. This is going to be 0 0.0007125. Now I'm going to move my cursor over here because I got one more option to do. And this is the sixth option. Now you're going to see why in one second this is the final option because I miss 25. I miss the second time 20%. I missed the third time, 15%. I missed the fourth time, 10%. I missed the fifth time, 5%. But because I've played so much here, that final sixth toss, I now have a 1% or 100% chance, 100% chance of winning because I've slowly increased my odds 5% every single time. So on that sixth dart, I am guaranteed to win. 0 0.25 times 0 0.2 times 0.15 times 0 0.10 times 0 0.05 times 1 is 0 0.0000375. And if you don't believe me, add all of those probabilities together and you do get one. So again, kind of a cool problem. It was conditional on the fact that I'm, I, you know, the result of the next determines what happened prior because I'm increasing my chance. So it's kind of a cool problem. And again, it's a little bit different than the first problem we looked at where I was just stuck at 75% the whole time. So um, hopefully this helps you understand probability models a little bit better. And I think it's kind of a cool problem. So worth the watch.